and that does scare me. My expansion is up, and that proxy pylon is down. Here comes another battle, and oh, he runs off! I'm not sure why he did that. These guys should be... Yeah, most of them are have full health still. I think he's just going to be waiting for that Colossus. But he gave me the chance to build back up. He might have been able to win that if... Uh, if not, he could have ran off later on. Maybe he was scared of the Marauder slow. I don't know what's going on. I think he just won map control. Because the Nexus is down. As well as the Thermal Lance upgrade. The extended Thermal Lance. It's technically called uh, Colossus. Need that. Otherwise it won't be good times for them. And here I just run past a probe. Because. I, I don't know. I, I wasn't paying attention I guess. But I'm not going to be going in for the attack here. Uh, he should. Yes he still has the lead. In the Harvester. Or er, in the army count. And I think I knew that, and he wanted to establish map control. Unfortunately, my expansion was up before his, so map control isn't going to be that crucial in the early to mid game of this game. Uh, that's why Jungle Basin is so different. Uh, it does become back and forth. Um, right about the ramps here usually is where the battles start to happen. Of course, his army is a little further back. That first Colossus is out, uh, but it's not hanging out with everybody else. It wants to block off the ramp, apparently. I believe you can run underneath the Colossus. Well, those are probes going to harvest, so they can't really tell me either way. But I do get missile turrets up because I don't know what tech switch he went to. Uh, I don't know that he went to Colossi and he did not go to Void Rays or anything like that. So I do have the... The missile turrets up. I didn't bother getting them in the back of uh, my main base because there's not that many minerals left, and I don't really care. Um, I'll I need to transfer those drone or those pro SCVs. Wow, what race am I again? I need to transfer those SCVs anyways. An observer on the way. Oh my goodness! Did that? Did one already come out? Not yet. He does have 14 stalkers, four zealots, and two colossi. I am calling them colossi. I don't care what HD says. They are still colossi. Well, Colossus is still very weird. And there, the SUV goes to die. It it didn't like its lonely existence out here in the field. And as a result, I still have a. Uh, a hefty lead in in the units lost count, um, almost a thousand less u less resources worth of units have been lost by me in this game. That was worded very strangely, but of course he still has the higher APM, and I have been spending about the same as he has. He is getting a third base here, a second expansion, and everybody's still in battle formation. After they took out those rocks, I did not take out these rocks. I am actually going for my third base as well, but I chose to go for the high yield. I know this looks like we went for the same thing, but of course the the map is inverted. Um, I went for basically this base of his uh, as my expansion. So I should be able to take... A lead later on in the game thanks to that on the high yield missile turret coming up just in case he sends uh, a dark uh, dark Templar I'm trying to figure out what happened to that observer I remember now sorry I missed it you guys but it wasn't that great anyways the observer went through here and that missile turret took it out I, I and I don't know if it got any scouting done on this. Um, but as a result, he is able to see most of my base here. Um, but it's not going to do him that great anyways, because he did miss all the important structures that I hid over on the right side. I uh, hid my star ports and my factories. And, oh, look, my first medevacs are out. That's usually when I like to go for my first push. And here I am hotkeying them. That's why I moved the raven out of the way. I told it to follow the medevac. Have everything uh, have everything but it. 
on to number one because this thing's going to make me win. Another observer on the way after the first one died. He wants to know what's going on. So here we go. Here comes Val. Stim going down. Tanks popping all over the place. I see the Colossi and I see Jup and he smartly runs away. So we are seeing a good micro battle from both of us, uh, at least partly here. I move everything I have away. I don't want to uh, fall into fire into range of those Colossi. I don't care if there's three on the field, they're Colossi still. And he's researching Blink, which I find very strange. This late in the game, um, he had a lot earlier, and yes, I have a Raven with me. Well, why you... Ugh. So that Observer did go down. That's why I keep the Raven, uh, not only for the Observer, but also for the Dark Templars. I don't want them getting any pot shops on, off on me. Here we go. Colossi are up, but I do have air units able to get sight on them. I'm throwing down the auto turret just so I can get sight, even if those medevacs go down. R don't care about that stalker moving past them. Don't care about those stalkers focusing down the Colossi. I don't want it to live. But the game has already been over. He actually um, misclicked there and started attacking the robotics facility, down, which I then finish his job, and down it goes. Another robotics facility on the way. He did go for two, but I took out the pylon, and he was forced to GG. And that's the game. Um, so very interesting build for him here. Um, he's, he lost track of at least one Nexus here. Um, yeah, the, he, he forgot to keep those uh, Chrono Boosts coming. Of course, reinforcements on the way. Just in case you guys uh, thought I was slipping. I did slip a little bit. Never got that third, expand, or third base up and running. I would have, but... And the game was over. Uh, interesting here, you know, look, how many is that? That's six warp gates. Uh, forge, uh, he did get uh, upgrades throughout the game. Uh, but that was really one for me when I focused down the Colossi. Uh, those siege tanks, of course, helped out a lot. Um, that was, that was a interesting micro battle from both of us, and as a result, my APM is higher than usual. 31, uh, usually get about 20. Um, he, of course, absolutely crushed me once again. I, um, I never keep up with my opponents. He did get 61, but it was not enough to win him the game. Um, so I thought this was interesting. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Bye.